Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'll explore the storytelling section for your Shopify store. So before we start, I'd like to show you some examples using our game theme demo stores. So this is the first one. This is theme style Mio, as you can see, and we have this section here. So we see the picture, we have the text, and we also have the button that leads to the blog post. And as you can see here, we have several tabs. So in this specific um, section, they are named as years and therefore used as um, there can be like event calendars or a simple storytelling throughout the years about the brand, about the company. Uh, so this is this example. And also we have another demo store, which is called Theme Style of the Lace. And as you can see here, we have this information, we have the picture as well. Uh, but here tabs are named as blog posts and by clicking on see more, we go to the actual blog post about this specific um, topic. So this is the section. And now let's go to our theme customizer and try to recreate it. So once we're back here, first of all, we need to choose the page where we'd like our storytelling section to be located. So you can actually add this section to any page that you'd prefer. But for our example, let's stay on the home page here. So we need to scroll here in the page template. We go here, here, and now let's click on add a section. And in here, let's search storytelling. So here is our storytelling section. And now let's click on the section here and see the settings. So first of all, we have this overlay capacity, but keep in mind that it only works for mobile version. So here, when we're on the desktop, as you can see, uh, we see the picture and the text. One is on the left side, the other is on the right side. But when we switch to the mobile, then as you can see, the text overlays on the picture. And this is why we uh, need to highlight the text and a little bit hide the picture. So as you can see here, we can uh, customize the opacity. So when it's set to a minimum, as you can see, the text is not visible overall. So we need to make sure we make this overlay so that our text is visible here. And uh, we put like a shadow on our picture, but this only works for mobile. So once we go back to the desktop, as you can see, everything is fine. So next we have the layout section. Here we can make uh, this section full white. Uh, if unchecked, then container will uh, container white will be set based on the group layout settings in the theme settings. So let's go to the theme settings here. Then we go to layout. And as you can see, our container white is set to medium, 1680 pixels. We can also change it to small or large. And when we go back to sections, this means that we either make the container full white or we leave it to be uh, the same as set in the layout. And the last thing here are the offsets. So we have the desktop and mobile offsets. We have uh, this space in between our sections, but if you want to have more space, you can easily add it here. So we've added to the desktop offset top and the same we can do for the bottom. So as you can see, there is basically no space between the, um, the section and the footer. So here in the desktop offset bottom, we need to add some spacing between these two sections. So now let's save our changes and now let's start customizing our sections. So here we see that we have four blocks and you can add up to seven blocks in the storytelling section. So you can add the blocks by click on add content, add content. And here we see that we've reached our limit. You can add maximum of seven content blocks in this section. So if you want to um, hide some of them, if you don't want to show all of these tabs, all of these content sections, we can just click here and hide them, as you can see here. Or we can simply 
click on this content block and click on remove block and now the block is removed forever we can also change the order of these blocks so for example if you want this one to be put up higher you can simply do so here okay and now let's click on the first tab here and we'll see what we have in here so first of all we can name these tabs so there are several options as to how you can use this storytelling section you can use it as your event calendar so for example you can name them let's say september 2022 for example you can change the name to simply a year or you can put up a date in the in a date format in number format you can choose it for for showcasing your new collections your products for example you want uh, this section to be all about your products you can name each tab like the best seller the best reviewed uh, best quality best price so feel free to name these tabs and therefore use this section as you prefer. So as you remember in our demo stores, in one of them, it is used as the event calendar because here we have the years and the blocks about certain events this year. And in the second demo store, as you remember, we have this section used as um, as basically blog posts. So let me just pull up this section here. And as you can see, this is the blog post and here are these blogs. So feel free to use this section to your preference as an event calendar, maybe, maybe as promotion of your products or as your blog. So now let's move on and let's add the image here. So for example, we add uh, this image in here uh, but as you can see it's like horizontal image it spreads out and maybe you want to use another image for your mobile then you can do it from here so as you can see when adding images we need to add the image to the desktop and we can also set the image to mobile so by clicking here we can for example choose another image to use and as you remember when we click here in the mobile then we have this overlay so the picture is a little bit darker so we have this overlay and we have our text in here so this is the mobile version picture and this is the desktop version picture so if we remove this image from the image mobile and we only leave the image desktop and here we click on the mobile let us scroll down here so as you can see this picture is left for the desktop and for mobile but it's now a little bit cropped so this is why you can choose um, you can add different images to the desktop and to mobile so next what we have in here we can change the image position so right now we have the image on the left side but if we click here and choose right we'll have the image on the right side now. Here it is. We can also change the text alignment. So right now its alignment is to the left. We can center the text. Or we can change the alignment to right. So here is how it's going to look like. Now let's return it to the left here and let's move on. So next we have this text settings we have the heading name we have the subheading and we also have the actual text that we add in here so feel free to um, add any content that you prefer you can also remove for example the heading here as you can see we've we've removed it now or you can remove subheading and instead uh, add uh, some headings so for example let's call it september events maybe we'd like to share our events to upcoming for september for example so here as you can see let it just refresh a little bit we just need some time to let our customizer update to our latest changes so here as you can see we've added the heading we've removed 
this subheading but if you want to you can of course add it as well so next we have the text that of course you can customize as you prefer you can add uh, you can insert links here so for example you can choose either the whole text or simply one word or one sentence and insert a link in here so here is how it looks like and next we have the button label so here as you can see we have this button here uh, if you want to have it then you need to enter the button label and you also need the button link so for example you can rename it to see more view more learn more or if you showcase your products using this section you can even add the name of the button like buy now shop all just a few examples for you so if you don't want to have this button at all, you just simply need to remove the text from here. So we leave the button label blank. And here, as you can see, when we removed the text from the button label, we don't have this button anymore. So now let's put it back. Let's call it view more, for example. So here is our button. And next we can add the button area label. So this section is only for people with, um, who need better accessibility. So if we write down here anything, it will not be visible. However, for people that have maybe a hard time with a reading, they can just um, listen to what this button says. And here, what we type in here will tell the people where this button leads us. So this is the... Uh, place where you need to enter this information and next here we have the button link so you can actually link this button to anything you'd prefer you can use um, maybe an external link to your like youtube or instagram or to anything actually or you can choose to link it with um, an internal page for example if this was our blog post we can choose blog posts and if we have any blog posts in here we'll add them there or we can um, link to the blogs overall like our blog page blogs page so here we've added this link here or if you use your section to show off your products you can of course link it with the product or with collection so next here we have the color settings so we can uh, change the background color here, as you can see, we right now have it in white, but we can change the color. So when, when we click here, as you can see, we can enter the CSS code of the color and change uh, the color of this section only. Next, we have the color of the text. So right now it's black. You can change it to any color that you prefer. And here is our button label. So this means the text of our button. As you can see, it's in white and our view more is also in white. We also have here button background. Right now it's black and button borders. And here we have the colors that change on hover. So as you can see, when I hover on this button, it changes from the black background to white background, from white color text to black color text. And from here we can change the setting. So for example, if we click on button background we can choose any color that we want and it will change the color only for this tab so for other tabs we need to change them in their respective blocks so now that we've added these changes let's now save here and now let's add a second tab in here so for example we can also call it like december 2022 for example we can also add uh, the image for our second tab here so let's put this image here you can also choose the image for mobile as you remember when we have the mobile version we have this overlay here so this is why you may choose um may want to choose another image for the mobile then we have also the image position for our second tab. So the same, completely same instructions. We have the heading, the subheading that we removed from here. We have the text. We have the button for the second tab. We can also link it. So for example, before we've linked to the blog, now we can uh, link to one of our products. So here, let's choose any of these products that we have in here. And we can also change the button background. 
but it will change for this second tab. So let me save my changes and let's click on view to view the store. So now let's scroll down here. Here is our storytelling section. So as you can see, we have this button and it leads us to news blog. And we have our second button. As you can see, the color is changed. Here is the image for uh, this second tab. And when we click here, we go to the product that we've linked before. So this is how you add information content to your tabs, how you can name them. So for example, we have uh, this, uh, this section used as an event calendar as we have the month and year here we can also add some information about the events upcoming or past events and we can also use the section to show of our product so for example let me add the same section once again so let me just pull the storytelling section here then we can open the first heading and let's name it bestseller for example now let's uh, add the image for example let's let's have this image of this hat here we can also choose the image position as you remember let's name the hat in um, the bestseller product for example we can add the text about our product here and when we head to the button label we can rename it to for example buy now and here in the button link we can add to the link to our product so here is this product and now let's save the changes we can also add as i've mentioned before we can also add external links so for example if we go to the second tab we can um, add any link that we prefer so let's uh, leave it as here let's just simply add any image in here and for example if we want to add an external link we just need to copy this link here and put it in here here it is let's now save our changes and let's go to our store once again so now we need to scroll down to the newest section that we've added. Here it is. This is the one we've added before. So here, as you can see, we have the buy now, the bestseller product. And when I click here, here is the product that we go to. And we also have the second tab in here with an external link. Uh, just a second. We probably need to adjust our link. So we need to remove this slash here. Let's just save these changes and let's click on view once again. And let's try the second tab of this section here. So when we click on see more, as you can see, our manual, uh, the one that I've linked before, pops up. So these are these two sections. Now, as you can see, the first one can be easily used as the event calendar. It can be used also to showcase your products, your collections, and of course, as your blog posts as well. And these uh, were all of the instructions on how to set up your storytelling section. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team. We're always here to help. And don't forget about our theme manual, where you can also find all of this useful information. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great one. Bye.